Anybody heard of bleep bleeps? Handful. Anybody got kids? Anybody wants a child? <laughs> yeah, this is for you then. Okay. So um, Bleep Bleeps is a family of little friends that make parenting easier. So a, a bunch of cute connected devices um, for kids, families, and parents. They each have a face, a name, and a character, and they each help you with a, um, a different aspect of parenting. They all connect to the Bleep Bleeps app on Android and iOS, and eventually the cloud. Um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with this sound bite, but um, you know, if you just cast your mind back and think how many connected devices we had 10 years ago, it was basically your desktop PC. And then 10 years later, we've got you know, TiVos, Sky Plus boxes, Nests. I mean, this curve is just going crazy. So I'm hoping to tap into that kind of um, trend. <laughs> Okay, so there's the guys. Um, really what we're trying to do is connect these three worlds, connected products, or at least IoT tends to be, you know, a bunch of bedroom geeks, not particularly touched by design, hacking Arduino and messing about with Raspberry Pi in their pants. Um, parenting, I don't know, those of you that got kids, you know, you know there's so many need states, there's so many, um, you know, pain points in parenting. It's, it turns your life upside down um, and you'll throw money at anything that makes your life easier. And then there's a whole bunch of us out here that love design, and we're increasingly making more and more decisions about what things look like, what the customer experience is. And so I'm hoping to draw those three things together. Um, a few different life stages, so pregnancy, conception, baby, and child. Um, let's meet the guys. Tony Temper, digital ear thermometer. You bleep him in your ear, and it sends the um, data to your phone for tracking and guidance, informed by um, Tiny Temper, the British rapper. Come on, keep up. Um, David Camera. Uh, video baby monitor, so in his monocle there's a um, video camera connected uh, to your phone so you can keep an eye on your kids. Cecil G is a location bracelet so you can track your kids. Uh, Lily Loco is the same device but you can throw that in your kids lunchbox or rucksack and keep an eye on their location. Um, Olivia P Sticks is a ovulation calendar so you wee on a stick, stick it in her mouth and she tells you when you're ovulating so you can get pregnant. Uh, Master Bates always raises a snigger. Uh, again, he tests your sperm count and sperm mobility. And then, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> right at the horizon of our sort of product portfolio is Ultrastan, which is a home ultrasound scanner. Um, but our launch product, and probably those of you that know us, know us for Sammy Screamer. Um, Sammy is a little motion alarm. <laughs>
So we were on Kickstarter, apologies Indiegogo, uh, around a year ago. Um, we had a target of $20,000. Um, oh, that's better. Had a target of $20,000, which we met within 24 hours. Um, we went on to raise 90 grand uh, dollars, um, which was around 1,000 backers, 1,500 devices. And we shipped. We shipped six weeks ago. So we spent a year of blood, set, blood sweat and tears learning how to make hardware, which is fun. Um, but now we have six products, six juicy, delicious colors, lovely packaging, made in the UK. Whoop, whoop. Um, and we got a ton of PR, a ton of interest from journalists all over the world, lots of lovely mainstream press from The Telegraph and Living, etc. And um, we're lucky enough to be exhibited in Selfridges. Um, let's kill that. Um, and uh, we're early days retail, but we're in Museum of Modern Art in New York Design Store. They're doing, um, for New York Design Week, they're doing a London Tech City Festival. And we're one of the, um, I think it's 10 or 11 products, including Rolly, actually, that uh, one of the guys uh, that, that are exhibiting and selling over there in Moment New York. Um, we're in Design Museum Shop in London. Um, we're in Colette in Paris. Anybody heard of Colette in Paris? Yeah, quite really cool sort of boutique. Um, and um, we're talking to Selfridges still. So um, really nice to see some traction in um, really design-focused stores, which is what we're all about. We're a design and brand for parents. Um, hardware's hard. It's been said tonight, and it will be said again and again. It's really difficult. Uh, so we, when we were on Kickstarter, we literally just had a 3D printed block. We totally faked it. Um, and then we had to spend a year learning really how to take that apart and put it back together again. Uh, hardware. Uh, usually when we demo we wear these stupid outfits, I didn't wear it tonight. Uh, amazing team, um, if I don't say so myself. Uh, Neil actually, top right, he um, is an amazing iOS developer. He built uh, Beats Music, which has just been sort of reskinned as Apple Music. Uh, he also was the lead iOS engineer on Nike Fuel Band. So um, Gaetano Ling actually <coughs> works for Rody at the moment, but uh, he um, is an amazing industrial designer. Um, he designed the podium for the Olympics 2012 um, and a bunch of other crazy hardware guys that I've met along the way at meetups like this. Um, more people. Uh, so, have we got time for some mistakes? Or yeah? Okay, learning opportunities. So, um, we tried this. We tried open hardware around a year ago, a uh, bit longer, a year and a half ago. And um, so on our website, our first product was actually Tony Temper, not, not Sammy Screamer. And um, we had the case designs, um, 3D printed, and you could click on those, those images there and go off to Shapeways and download the meshes and 3D print your own case. Or you could order them from Shapeways. Um, you could clip on, click on all these components and go off to SparkFun and buy, buy the stuff. And then we published a diagram of how to hook it all up together on our blog. Guess how many people did that? Seeing as it's in the mistakes section, you'll probably guess that it was zero. In fact, one person did it, and it didn't really work. The diagram didn't really work, and we, we couldn't support it. And you know, So it, it just didn't work, one of those things. But it was a fun thing to have on the website. Uh, probably our biggest mistake was um, we wanted to launch with this product, Tony Temper, the digital earth thermometer. And uh, so we were, due, we were ready to go on Indiegogo, actually, probably about a year and a half ago. And um, I met Barry, who's a medical product device engineer, and now he's our kind of head of industrial design. And um, he said, um, so you do this Tony Temper, this, this um, ear thermometer, right? I was like, yeah. He goes, you do know it's a type 2A classified medical device, don't you? I was like, really? What does that mean? Um, he said, look, I'll, I'll just send over the um, documentation that you need to adhere to. And I couldn't be bothered to read this, let alone adhere to it. So we, we pivoted away from, um, I think rather wisely, trying to make a med medical device in our first outing. And um, we decided to focus on Sally Screamer, as she's called here. And um, so she's, she existed as Sally for many months, and we were just about to launch on Indiegogo. And um, someone from the, from who works in PR, a friend of mine, <laughs> called me up on a Friday night and said, um, have you Googled Sally Screamer? And I said, um, yeah. Shit, no, I haven't. Um, so I Googled it. And it um, turns out Sally Screamer is a really famous porn star. So... <laughs> Here she is. I don't know if you could read that, but it says Sally Scream, a porn star profile on girlsandstuds.com. And then underneath, underneath there's me tweeting, getting ready for our first product launch. <laughs> and then underneath that, we had this great article on Wired. And then there's more porn underneath that. So no one, needs to be, no one wants to be sandwiched in between porn, especially not a parenting brand. So we changed it to Sammy, same character count. Um, 
So yeah, that's the mistakes. We've got, we've been lucky enough to be awarded um, the Smart Fund from Technology Strategy Board. We're totally bootstrapped so far. We haven't raised any money. It's killing me. Um, but we're just about to close a seed round, um, which we may extend a little bit. And then um, onwards and upwards, we've got three new products that we're working on that aren't actually um, in this presentation, that are Secret Squirrel, but um, all fun and games. Um, thanks very much. We're looking for interns at the moment, if you're interested, so give us a shout. Cheers.